Good morning and welcome back to another video. Today is a very special day. I'm taking Darren on his very first gravel ride. We're heading to the Quantox for a bit of single track, double track, grass, tarmac, bike paths, you name it, it's there. And I'm carrying something very special on my bike, which I'll show you later. Um, wish us luck. Are you looking forward to today? I am actually, yeah. I, I'd like to see how this bike gets on, see if it is an all road bike, because I'm very excited about that prospect. I've been able to go anywhere. Um, and I've never done gravel before, so there's always that unknown, that adventure. Well, I, I was I gonna ask. Adventure. I was going to ask, are there any nerves kicking about? No. No? No. And let's hope there's an ice cream Because you haven't given me the route, so I don't know where we're going. So I haven't seen what climbs are there. So I'll just take what comes. Okay, it's a lottery. And let's hope the ice cream van is waiting for us at the top. Fingers crossed, yeah. <laughs> That's a hedgerow. You've got two options. You can either go straight or you can go left through the trees. Which one do you fancy? Back that way to the road. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was a big hole. I'm glad you convinced me to wear my best shoes. <laughs> We're just heading through Bridgewater now. Unfortunately, there's no gravel pass all the way through Bridgewater, but there is this canal path. But no, this is quite nice for Bridgewater. We've just been embarrassed by a load of e-bike mountain bikers. Yeah, they flew past. <laughs> Making it look easy, are they? Stunning view you brought me up to, Pete. Well worth it. Point, it's really quiet up here, just us, a couple of walkers and a dog. So as far as asking whether this bike is an all road bike so far, so good. Uh, just me being a bit nervous because trying to cycle one handed and film up some steep gravel climbs <laughs> isn't going to be very easy. Um, a bit wobbly, isn't it, Pete? Yeah. I hope the video is nice and stable and not too shaky. I do apologise if it is, but I'm doing my best. This is the toy, Pete. You and I are in Drone Club. Yeah, look what we've got. Here's a huge shout out to my friend James for letting us borrow this. I'm absolutely loving it so far. It's a challenge, it's definitely a challenge, but it is really quiet and you just can't, just can't beat these views. They're stunning, just for you, James. Um, I should say, as a roadie, um, it's not the climbs, it's not spinning on the climbs or the flats and the bumpy roads that actually get me. It's, it's more the uncertainty of what's under my wheels as I'm going downhill, because as a, as a roadie, you avoid gravel. It's not a good thing on the road, but so far, these tyres, this bike handling really well, and you're getting more and more confidence as I'm going, so it's all good, and it's stunning. It's beautiful, Glorious. It? It's Splendiferous Quantox is what it is. That's what it is. Yeah. Favourite place in Somerset. Just, it's no quiet, that is. Somebody shouting right there. <laughs> <laughs> so you get the idea. Now we're currently at 248 meters and you're going to make me go downhill again yes to go back uphill again instead of taking that track up which leads to triscombe stone we're going to head down and um, join the road that goes up to triscombe stone but we're going to head on some bridleways and then about an hour we'll be, at, we'll be up at the top so you're making me go downhill to go uphill yeah you'll fly down here you're right yeah i've just wimped down that one there um but i'm getting a bit more confidence as we go we're getting some proper weird looks from the mountain bikers up here and say, what are those roadies doing up here? <laughs> <laughs> 
richtig drin. ask how did you find this is this commute or is this local knowledge or going back to the old-fashioned ways of using a map so i just let search for all the bridal ways and then strung them all together in a route so when you made that turn that we've just made from the road onto the bridal way yeah when you were first exploring i thought surely not this <laughs> <laughs> but i followed it it's glorious through there through the trees it is lovely yeah and the, the view makes it all, all worthwhile yeah just look at that <laughs> um, this is somebody's house, Pete. Are you sure? Because <laughs> there's trails coming from everywhere. There's one there, one there, one there, one there, and the one we just come from. <laughs> Yeah, and we're going to head up on that one. We're going on that one. But we've got another day here exploring at some point. Now I know this bike is a dream on this surface, then yeah, we're going to have to come back and do some more. That last bit up there, you're flying up that last bit. Yeah, if, if I fall off, I might change my mind. <laughs> An old drover's road. I reckon we're in a stream, it's just a dry stream. Oh, and the bit ahead, it doesn't actually look that dry. No. <laughs> what are you supposed to do with that? Yeah. I suppose the hard mountain bike is just cycle straight through it, wouldn't it? down this track and then we turn right then we follow it all the way back up to the trig point which is up there yeah look at the views up there and then we traverse back towards the left and hopefully there's an ice cream van waiting over there in the car park no, so that's cothelstone that way yeah cothelstone and broomfield hill that way um trig point um triscombe stone that way definitely think you need a run up for that one pete <laughs> off you go show me how it's done Show off. <laughs> there you go. No wind. Where's the wind? wind? Just putting up the drone to get some aerial shots of this place. I uh, hope you enjoy those. But I still feel like I'm alone. 
When you came up here last time, Pete, it was really windy, wouldn't it? Yeah, really. It's windy. so still up here at the moment, it's incredible. But you can see for around. Deb, I'm going to have to bring you here for a walk. Uh, I know you don't like Mr. Whippy ice cream, but I think we, we can get from the car park up there and we'll come for a walk up here. It's incredible. I'm not going to say stunning, Joe, but it is. It is incredible. I point out, I did take a tumble trying to get up uh, a hill there. I stopped to film and then couldn't clip back in and did a slow <laughs> sideways fall into the bush. I've. Uh, Got me elbow a little bit, but we'll be fine. I'm a big boy. The bike landed on me, so no damage. Just hold on, Traffic jam, Pete. Yeah, found ourselves a roadblock. So, so far, Pete, we've done 38k and we've been out for five and a half hours. <laughs> We've just descended down past Pines and we're heading on to the penultimate ride away before we start making our way back towards Bridgewater. Is this a single track, a double track? Any track at all? <laughs> <laughs> I think this was a field, don't we? <laughs> this, is, this is a field, a pasture. road. Are we going that way? <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully not. We're actually going to go on the road for a little bit. Just hold on. Been to places that I'll never go. Seen some places that I'll never know. I you found a cracking view, Pete. I believe that, mate. Yeah. All the 7S tree in it. Um, I've got a mountain bike video uh, that Carlo did to edit and then Pete may or may not be doing a adventure ride uh, in the week and making his own vlog and then we're back Sunday uh, we're going to Nunny and Gare Hill on Sunday so if, uh, if the usual crew are back we'll probably have one space if somebody wants to come and join us for that ride take us up to the six um, so just let me know if you want to do that but other than that it's been a great ride Pete top ride Hope you top enjoyed ride it. massive adventure uh, great experience. Uh, bike was a dream, wasn't it? Bike was an absolute dream. Yes, it is an all-road bike. What can I say? Um, I don't know how, he, how much better it can get with 38 c tires because I've only got the 32 c tires on. But what a bike! What a bike! But yeah, great day, great views, great trails, great fields. Great way to spend a Sunday. Great way to spend a Sunday. Yeah. Um, it's now five past four. We set off at nine o'clock, so it's a bit of a long day, <laughs> and we've only managed 67 kilometres. But no, so much fun. So, so much fun. So much different to the road. It's great to try everything. And if you haven't tried gravel, uh, get out and do it because it is definitely worth the effort. Absolutely. But again, thank you for watching. Um, also, don't forget the notification bell and you'll get notified as soon as we upload any of those videos. But once again, thank you very much. Like, comment and subscribe. See you soon.